Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today, in this video, we will show you how to operate mechanical stopwatch, which is a type of time recording device. Here you can see, this is a mechanical stopwatch. And this button, or you can say knob, which is located at the top of a stopwatch, is called Start, Stop and Reset knob. Means, by this knob, we can start, stop and also reset this stopwatch. Here you can see this mechanical stopwatch have traditional analog display which is round in shape. Here you can see in the display it consists of a circular scale at the edges of total 30 seconds. Means this scale is divided into 30 seconds as 1, 2, 3 up to 30 and each division in this scale is equal to 0.1 second. Means by this stopwatch we can measure the time interval up to 0.1 second. To start this stopwatch, we have to press this knob and this stopwatch will start, means timing process will start. And you can see here, the hands or you can say pointer starts to move. And when we press the same knob, which is used to start this stopwatch, means when we press this knob second time, the timing process will stop, means stopwatch will stop. Means on the first press, stopwatch starts and on the second press, stopwatch timing process will stop. And you can see here the movement of the pointer stop. And here you can see in the display of the stopwatch, pointer means hence for the second pointed on the number 12. Means the time recorded here is 12 second. After recording the time, again press the same button for third time to reset the stopwatch. On pressing this knob third time, all the hands means pointer return back to their starting position. Means back to the zero second. And always before starting the timing process, ensure that the stopwatch hands all reset to zero position. Again we are pressing this knob. Stopwatch starts means the pointer or you can say long hand of the second scale which indicates seconds starts to move. And this time here we allow the pointer to completely rotate around the display. Here in the upper side of the display you can see the circular scale, small scale. And this scale is the minute scale. By this scale we can measure the minute. And here this small size pointer or you can say small hand to indicate and record the minute. This scale is of total 15 minutes. Means scale divided into total 15 minutes as 1, 2, 3 up to 15 minutes. So here you can see this long pointer of second scale completed one rotation. And again we allow this pointer means hand to rotate one more cycle to complete the next 30 second. So for total time 1 minute. And because here the time elapsed is more than 30 seconds, that's why the small pointer of the minute scale also moves half to reach the 1. As one more rotation means 30 seconds completed, again we press this knob second time, then this stopwatch timing process will stop. You can see stopwatch stop here means the long pointer stops to rotate. Means when total 1 minute completed, then this small pointer reaches to the marking 1 of a small circular scale which indicates that 1 minute is completed. And because this small hand means pointer is pointed at 1 in the small scale and this long hand means the pointer for second in the second scale is pointed at 2 second. So total time recorded here is 1 minute 2 seconds. So in this way we measure and record the time by using mechanical stopwatch. Again we press this same knob for the third time to reset this stopwatch. Means here both the pointer returns back to the start point means zero timing. Again this same knob is used to wind the stopwatch. Means to start the stopwatch we need to wind this stopwatch by turning the winding knob. For this, we have to rotate this knob like this. Rotate this means wind this knob completely to power up the stopwatch. Means by winding or you can say rotating this knob, the spring inside it get tightened or you can say uh, by this main spring get power up. Means this spring store the energy when we wound up and then this energy is used for the timing mechanism. Because 
Here in this stopwatch no battery or no electric circuit is used to power this stopwatch means as the name suggests this stopwatch operates using mechanical component rather than the electronic one in the digital stopwatch which require electronic circuit and batteries to measure the time but in this mechanical stopwatch batteries and electronic circuit is not required this mechanical stopwatch operates using mechanical component inside it like gear spring and lever to measure the timing so this is how we can operate the mechanical stopwatch thank you very much for watching this video